Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. A guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. I mean, technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. No? No, I will not. Now, do you have it? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? You were along for the ride, weren't you? You saw what I saw. Yes, but it's important we review everything together in case either of us missed anything. I saw Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. The man I killed. That's right. He was a human being just like the rest of us. And he had reasons for being what he was, however cruel. How does that make you feel? It wasn't all his fault. I can't blame him for everything that happened. If I were a priest, I would say forgiveness is a good thing. We're getting off track. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret, teleportation. The only question is, what do we do now? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. -E so be sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. <laughs>